Hello, and welcome. I'm Kristen Lee, and this is David Tracy, and we are in what is probably a very familiar spot, which is David's garage. And uh, this is a welder, so we're gonna do some welding today. Before we do that, I should disclose that this is gonna be some amateur ass welding. Yeah. So if you're a professional welder out there, a lot of respect to you. You're about to see some stuff that's gonna make you cringe, yeah. but. We don't want to at all diminish your craft because it has taken a very, very long time for you to get where you are. We are two dumbasses in a very cold garage with nothing better to do. And a hundred dollar welder. We're just trying to get some serviceable welds, so now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, even though I'm clearly an amateur welder, I did undertake a large project not too long ago. I actually welded up the frame of this old postal Jeep. And I'll show you. It's the front, like 18 inches of this frame have been welded just using that welder that I have, $100 welder. I consulted with uh, an experienced welder to figure out the design here, but it has held up. I drove it 4,000 miles to and from Utah and took it off road. So this is a $100 Harbor Freight welder. Um, it is a flux core welder, which means that this wire right here, um, when it burns off, it sort of emits this gas, which really we should have a fan here. And that's what shields the weld. Um, normally, um, you actually have a gas bottle that goes along with your welder, and it shields your weld. This one, it's, it's actually in, in the wire. So, these tend to make pretty ugly welds, so we're gonna see some. So even if we do this well, the welds aren't gonna be great. Okay, so I've got some parts I'm gonna weld. They're, they're um, this is a brake shoe from a drum brake, and this is a U-bolt from a leaf spring suspension system. I'm going to be doing some arc welding. What this means is that I'm going to hook a clamp to a metal part, in this case, the brake shoe, to create a ground. I'll then aim a welding gun at the joint between that part and the part I want to weld to it, in this case, the U-bolt. Pressing the trigger will gradually release a wire, which is the electrode. When that energized electrode gets close to the grounded part, an arc creates tremendous heat that melts the electrode and both metal parts, fusing them together. These cheap welders, they've got a guide in, in them, in the lids. Here's the wire. Uh, and here's the wire feed. It, there's just an electric motor that just kind of pulls the wire from this roll and through the gun. This is the uh, the guide that comes with this cheapy welder. Basically, it, you could see based on the thickness, so this is an eight, eighth inch thick, they recommend that the volt slash amp setting is at max. So there are only two, there's max and min. And then the wire speed setting. So those are the only things that you can adjust. So for an eighth inch thick, max and 8.0, which you can see down here, you got min and max, and then you've got wire speed here. And now it's time to weld. All right, welding. Okay, all right, here's the weld. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not beautiful, but um, it's, you know, if you, you can see that what I'm doing as I weld is I'm basically grabbing this liquid pool of metal and just dragging it along, sort of doing a really small back and forth motion to drag this metal pool along to get a nice long, or in this case, an ugly but serviceable long weld. Okay, so now that I've put a two inch weld between these two pieces, we're gonna test how strong the part is uh, see if I can break the weld. I'm not a great welder, so I bet I can break it, but we'll find out. All right, so I've broken the weld. <laughs> so it wasn't the strongest weld ever, uh, but it was also a small weld, and the surfaces could have been cleaner. But uh, yeah, so just recognize that if you're new and you're using a cheap welder, you really got to prep it and you got to realize the limitations of your skills and your machine. All right, so now my coworker Kristen is going to give it a shot. She's never welded before. So here I am preparing both materials to be joined by just cleaning them up so we can get a nice good ground connection so there's no added resistance and we can get a nice strong weld. So basically this is the method. Yeah, so 
an analogy I make is like, here's a little drop of water. You're essentially, you create, once you set your wire on your, your piece and you pull the trigger, you're gonna create a little puddle of molten metal and you need to sort of drag it along. You don't wanna just pull it, because then that will happen. Notice how it got really small. What you wanna do is you just wanna go forward and back and in, a lot of people suggest going in circles, small circles like this. Now notice how it stays thick, how I'm dragging that water along and it's a thick line instead of if I just kind of, you know, in this, just kind of pulled it, it, it just sort of breaks apart. So you just wanna grab it and just pull the puddle along. And, and yeah, that's pretty straightforward. So I mean, he, here you would sort of line up between your two parts that you're trying to weld and uh, you create a puddle, and then you just kind of drag it along. Um, you have to sort of practice to figure out how quickly you want to move. If you stay in one place too long, you might put a hole in your part. Uh, if it's too short, your weld not, might, might not be strong enough, might be too small of a weld, so you just have to practice. First things first, Kristen's got to suit up. She'll be wearing leather gloves, a leather apron, a long sleeve jacket that won't catch fire, and a welding helmet. So what's special about this helmet? Uh, it will protect your eyes from this arc, this very bright arc. So first we need to snip it, right? Okay. All right, so we're doing it for real this time now. Oh God. God, that's so hard. Oh no. Oh God, that is super unfortunate. I feel like I missed the whole thing. I think you might have you might have actually just welded this by to itself. The first time you weld, things are gonna look ugly. Chris is gonna give us another shot. The key is going to be to make sure the electrode travels between the two parts she's trying to weld while ensuring a nice gradual lateral procession. It requires a real touch, and I have to admit, in some ways, this is the blind leading the blind. In any case, we should all have tremendous respect for people who do this for a living. Is that better? Yeah, I mean, slightly it's better. Especially the, the, uh, <laughs> the end there is a lot better. This, the tip is such a kind of like a blunt feeling thing, like a blunt object. And this wire is so fine that I feel like you have to account for where this wire is by feel. So it's a slight tugging where it's making contact, but also it's coming out. So there's this way motion and then there's this way motion. So it's interesting and then this gets in the way and to be very fair that gloves don't help because the gloves are big and cumbersome but that's what it looks like let's take a closer look at it i mean it's not as ugly as the last one so, the last one looked like boobs okay so you can see it over here you are getting the kind of pooling that you want to see um it, it is aimed a little bit it, it looks to me like maybe you are going a little bit slow because it looks like maybe we're kind of burning through some metal here uh-huh kind of hard to tell, um, but it does look like the aim, looks like we're not getting enough penetration on the bottom plate. So I was aiming a little high, Yeah, I think. Um, but otherwise, like you get, you have the concept of like dragging the pool along. Yeah. Uh, so it's just, yeah, it's just a matter of like iteration until you got it dialed in. I mean, for a first shot. I know, shot. I know. I mean, it's like, if I had one of these, I would definitely just, Everything in my apartment would be welded together. That's what would happen if I had one. Because it's like it's really fun and it's really satisfying. So I can see why it's a hobby and, and, and a job for a lot of people. This is hard as, this is hard as hell. Anyway, um, I hope you guys had fun watching that. I hope it was uh, informative. And we're going to go see what else we can adhere together. <laughs> yeah, only the cool people can do the nod and then the weld. Okay, so basically we're gonna we're, we're not gonna do this because it's crazy, but I've always wanted to do this one of this, so it's like Oh, oh it's just too cool. <laughs>
Okay.